Hey everybody, welcome to Jerry's Live. As always, I'm your host, Amy Gardner-Dean, and if it's looking a little holiday-like, that's because it's terrifyingly already the holiday episode. Already. Isn't it, Well, Hey everybody. As, as you may well know, if you're used to watching the show, we've got occasional Will Campbell on today with us. Will is going to help host the show because I can't easily get products down. We have a shelf off the camera with all of the different cool little gift sets, and, and Will has been kind enough to offer to help. All right, so basically this show is to give you some holiday gift ideas, either for friends, family, um, even for yourself, mm -hmm. just because, you know, everybody, the perfect gift for all people is is a gift of either money or a gift card, right? Yes. A gift card to where you really want to go because then it helps because you can hit, uh, you know, after holiday specials potentially mm -hmm. or uh, just, you know, things that you really want that you can kind of then maybe put some of your money in with if it was oh, something yeah. a little bit too pricey for what other people wanted to give you or your family can, each person can, you know, that would give you a gift, yes. you could like double, triple, quadruple up. Contribute to the cause. That's right, yes. exactly. So, you know, everybody ideally would love to have this, I know. Yeah. Um, however, we all have family. And in saying that, we all have family. And family likes to get you something to open. Family doesn't necessarily care if it's right for you. So these teacher's carts actually are really awesome because you can send somebody a link. They can actually mm -hmm. buy you things that you do want, right? Yes. That you can open and that they feel better about. Oh, look, I gave them something and they opened it. It wasn't mm -hmm. just something that was going to go to, you know, later on. So, so that's kind of where this idea came from. These aren't regular Jerry sets that are in the holiday catalog or, or the holiday sales. These are things that we've curated from Jerry's Live because sometimes sets don't have all the things for a professional set has a few items in there that aren't professional or, or a starter set has some things in there that don't really help with starting out. So all of these sets are things that you can give someone as a gift and actually use that day. You don't have to be at grandma's and there's no paper because it didn't come in a set or, right. or you know, uh, uh, brushes or those types of things. I always try to be very careful because I was that kid that got the sets and then had to wait till I got home. So, so I tried not to do that. Um, everything's really all encompassing, get it and go right from the start. So with that being said, all these sets are, you know, we always have a uh, episode number that's a JL whatever. Today's episode is JL 131. But each of these different sets is going to have a letter after that. So the first one we're going to start with is the JL 131A. And Amanda, in all her lettering awesomeness, has made us cards so we can have those up right when we're doing it. So you can always go back and actually see the sets um, and find the thing that you want. So this set is the starter drawing set because we've done drawing lessons this year. So I thought, you know, and there were some people that were like, I need to brush up on it or I, I would like, you know, my nephew seems like they're a promising artist. Mm -hmm. How about some real art supplies to use? So the starter drawing set that we've got has a, a creative mark mesh zippered bag that everything fits in. Um, it was nice, just everything right here to go. So, yeah, yeah, all in the bag. Yep. Take it home, not losing stuff everywhere. Uh, Cezanne graphic, uh, the pencils, the graphic pencils that we've been using on the show yep. for all of our drawing lessons. It's uh, the set of 12 pencils of all the different values. Um, so From a 2H to a 12B. Exactly. So you've got that. There is a Vanish eraser in there for all your erasing needs. Four in one. This is not just one eraser. This is four <laughs> in one eraser. Not four erasers. It's four all in, in one. one. Yes. <laughs> then we've got um, the Strathmore 300 sketch pad. And it's a little trickier to get out because it's got... Uh, the, the it's, yeah. yeah. There we go. Everybody loves that colossal sketch pad, but we were out of them through oh, January. Wow. So this paper was the most similar thing that I could find. Has that same texture, has the same tooth to it as our favorite uh, Jerry's colossal pad. And it's got a fair amount of sheets as well, of the 100 sheets. So you're not, it's the same, it was a good substitute. Now, there's no gold leaf in any of these, right? Uh, no. Okay, no, good. No, Let's make it short. Because we know what happens with Will and yes. gold leaf. <laughs> All right, so if you are looking for just a starter drawing set, that's a great 
price. This is under $30. This set right now is $25.48 for everything. Wow. That's just our price with all those items today. Now, Black Friday, guys, things could happen, things could change. They don't let us know what prices are gonna be right. for that kind of stuff. So, right. so some of these items could be a bigger discount, but right now, the regular price on all these items would be $29.82. So it gives you, you know, about a $4 savings with it being bundled together like yeah, this. Excellent. Okay, so that's JL131A. So if you're looking for that set, you go to the search bar on juriesartarama.com, type in JL131A. All right. Now, while you're getting the next set that we're going to do, just something to think about is not everybody wants to buy a set. Maybe you've already bought your main presents for people this year. Mike Not Jerry did a great video that they're going to post a link on that's stocking stuffers. He picked what a dozen different stocking stuff stuffers. Yes. It's like the Twelve Days of Christmas. Yeah, well, stocking was, stuffers. I mean, I don't know if that's what he did. It but. was the top ten with a bonus, and then we realized it was actually eleven with a bonus. So it's actually the top twelve. But so yeah, 12, twelve Days of Christmas. So <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So he's got a video that they're going to post a link on. So if you're looking for just stocking stuffer ideas that will give you some cool ideas that are inexpensive that will fit actually in a stocking, okay? So the next set we're gonna do is JL131B. Now, this is actually, we just did the starter drawing set. This is for you guys out there that maybe haven't bought drawing materials in a while. Maybe you're doing painting, maybe you're doing other things. We've been doing these drawing episodes. You're like, I need to get up it to some, you know, top professional drawing products. So so we've got a drawing set that's still portable. Yeah. Um, why don't we show the drawing board first because sure. that's kind of the main item of this. It's the Soho drawing, uh, adjustable drawing art board and kind of a stand. So it's got a great board. This is the board we use on the show all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it can adjust to all sorts of different heights so that you can use it flat if you're wanting to do watercolors. You can tilt it a little if you're wanting to do watercolor washes yeah. where it kind of the gravity helps or you can have it standing up doing any sort of drawing, colored pencil, whatever. So that's in that set. Now, if there's something like you've already got a drawing board, you can take that item off of the teacher's cart, just remove it, and then buy the other items if you like the other things. So yeah. that's something for people that already might have a drawing table or drawing board Great. already existing. So the rest of the set, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, a big starting board. with another one. Yes, another one of the bags because we mm -hmm. love these things. Yeah. So uh, they just are great because you can throw anything in and take it on the go with you, without losing stuff everywhere, yeah. like in the recesses of a big shoulder bag. And it's translucent, so you can kind of see what's inside. Yeah. It's not perfectly clear, but you can say, "Oh, yep, you know, I, I got my pencils in there. I'm good to go. I got my paper." So yeah. easy and to grab. And they don't break for anything. No. I, They're so durable. I have the one with the shoulder straps. That's the great big one that a drawing board will fit in. Amy breaks everything. <laughs> Amy's not been able to break it. And I've had it for going on, what, three years? I think I got it when we started the show. So, all right. So kind of the star of the set after the drawing board is the Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Big Tin Set of 26. Everybody knows that I, like, love the Faber-Castell and the, the 111 uh anniversary set that they did was like my favorite all-time set now this, this is set like a kit and a kit right here this is a kit and a kit so we've got two erasers a needed eraser and then kind of a soft vinyl eraser it's green but mark my words it doesn't mark on anything i use it with uh, even watercolors like to to take out an underdrawing pencil sharpener for the two different size pencils your sharpening pad um it's got like an eraser stick like a pink eraser stick, so you can actually do like really small areas if yeah. you don't have a um, one of the little eraser guards. Got to stop. It's got some of the great big graphite sticks. It has some of the pure graphite pencils that are a smaller, um, kind of the smaller diameter than these. It's got their great big pencils, which I love those. They're, um, they're fantastic. After I had hand surgery, they just come out with those. I could still draw without because I couldn't grip the smaller pencils, yeah. right? So then they've got a good a good variation of uh, tonal values of their regular pencils, um, a brush, and some of the Aquarell um, water soluble nice. pencils that yeah. they make. So it's like has all of the things in there to be able to do you know wet drawing washes mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. So that's kind of the star of 
a professional set that will have everything that you need for practicing, you know, really fine techniques and... I didn't know pencil erasers were a thing. I'm learning. Yes. Yeah. It, it's hard to get them for a while. Yeah, like, other neat. than, like, some specialty stores, I had some that I was, like, jealously guarding, not yeah. wanting to use. So, yeah. So, that's this is a great set. Excellent. Um, so, then, to kind of go with that, we've got some blending stumps and some tortillions. If you want to do some techniques that we've talked about like that, mm -hmm. uh, either with charcoal or with pencil, then there's charcoal pencils in there, Will. Some oh. of the Marie's... So, uh, soft charcoal pencils, which are my favorite. I think, did I do soft or did I do um, the, 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 is I it the, tell it's in, oh, yeah. no, it's right. Yes, it's the soft ones. Soft. Yes. And those are paper, like paper wrap. Oh, yeah. So they have this really beautiful, when you apply pressure, it has a little bit of flex. It's really nice. You can really lay down nice, sharp kind of lines, but also it's soft enough where you can use your tortillions and stuff. Yeah. So that's in there. Um, then we've got um, some papers. Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. I saw Ooh. this at AOC and I meant to go back and get one and I didn't. That was, the, I, I did mean, not yes. buy anything. I didn't buy anything at AOC. Wow, which that's I impressive. Know, yeah. Two years in a row. I mean, I which, did, so. I know, <laughs> but, but I, I mean, I, I was running around a little too much. Yeah, a little but, too busy. But this size was like just the cutest size and to be able to use those aqua pencils with yes. that would be fantastic. It's cotton, so it's completely archival, because we're talking, this is a professional set, right? Yeah, right. So it's Stonehenge, but it's the, it can take the water washes. Mm -hmm. Then there's another pack of Stonehenge papers, again, 100% cotton. It's some of their assorted colors, which they're not, when I say assorted colors, it doesn't mean like red, blue, violet. It means some different lightly toned papers. So you've got some beautiful, colored paper to do some really nice either charcoal drawings on, graphite drawings that look kind of like more like your traditional, um, you know, really nice mm -hmm. drawings you'd see in a museum. So, yeah. so that is uh, the JL131B artist drawing set. Again, you can take some things out if you already have some, some items, but it's a professional set. Those, that's under $140 wow. for everything. 138.77. The regular price on all that would be 159.39. And that's with the, the drawing that's board. That's with the as drawing well? board wow. and, and, and everything. So yeah. yeah. So that is a way to set yourself up to have. I mean, these cases I've I've got. I bought two when they were getting rid of them because I was so worried that I wouldn't have enough. Oh yeah. Still on the first one. Still have lots of pencils. So. All right. Now we are going to go to. JL131C. And girls, if you got any questions in the meantime as this is coming in, feel free to jump in. Oh, we're not shy. <laughs> we love QVC. QVC. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I need to. Will, you should be more Someone Vanna called you Vanna Will. Or Vanna Will. Uh, I like that. This is my audition tape for The Price is Right. So I'll be the next male model. Coming for you, James. Yo, yeah, right, exactly. All right, so JL131C is our colored pencil starter set. This would be perfect for somebody just starting out. This would be perfect for kids, like a serious student in your life. Um, our Cezanne colored pencils tin set of 72. It's that fantastic set that we've been using for our colored pencil episodes, mm -hmm. right? So everybody's seen what that does just with that. 72 cool. pencils all, all in there. So we've got that. We've got the Start Beginner's Guide to Colored Pencil DVD with Dan Nelson, who is a professional artist in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Um, it's a great video. I think he does some projects from start to finish. I believe so. So that is a great value um, to add to that. Uh, Strathmore Bristol board, that's or Bristol paper, 20 sheets of that. That's what he uses with the video, so we put that in. Yeah, so you can follow along. Exactly. Step by step. Um, and then a Derwent uh, Burnish Your Own Blender set Ooh. so that you've got the colorless blenders to actually be able to blend some of the yeah. pencils together with an eraser and, and, a, sharpener. and a sharpener. Excellent. So you didn't have to, we didn't have to add that on as an extra thing because I realized you could get them with that, yes. right? So this is under $55 okay. for all of that, for starting out, and that's with a DVD and all that. I mean, that's a price that you could give for even a kid. Yeah. 
that's serious about art and they would have some really good quality materials. It's $51.05. That five cents. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I was like, curses, <laughs> curse you. It's regular seventy four ninety eight. It's hard so, to So, well, I'm kind of a, a very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to say it the polite way. So, huh? Frugal. Yeah, frugal. Yeah, frugal. Yes, yes. I, I like a good value, but I want the most bang for the buck. So, so this was a good way to add in some blenders to get some <laughs> other freebies that you didn't have to keep adding to that price. All right. So that is JL131C. Moving on to JL131D. Amanda, these cards are beautiful. Thank you. I love the different colors that are popping up. It's like, oh, and do you use watercolor? Yeah. Yeah, they're so pretty. Very nice. What brand of watercolor were you using? I'm curious. Okay. I don't remember. Well, you have like 97,000 different brands, so I can see why that'd be a problem. All right, JL131D. This is the colored pencil artist set. Ooh. There's a lot here. This is professional quality. I'm going to tell you now, this entire set is under $130. There's one, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven different items in this? Yes. So first, if you can show them the colored pencil set from Soho, this is Soho's brand of colored pencils, 72. Um, nice these table. are, yes, your professional artist quality colored pencils, taking a step up from kind of the more baseline, the wax entry level pencils. So we've got, it's a little drier, it, it blends colors more, it works really nicely even on sanded papers and stuff. Um, so that is that colored pencil set. Uh, a pencil easel, it's so much easier to have them up where you can see them. Also just safer for traveling because if sure. you drop pencils in a tin, that can be dangerous. This makes it so it's really easy to take places with you without sacrificing any breakage in pencils. Now, I mean, these are bonded in the in the barrels just like the other pencils, but still, better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Pencils are an investment, all right? So then there is an eraser shield, one of the Sadler eraser shields, so that you've got that where you can actually put that on your artwork and only erase small amounts. If you've got little some little areas that you messed up, you need to fix those. Um, a Marie's eraser for the big areas. We love that. Uh, the 4B eraser, that's like my all-time favorite eraser. So that works so well with colored pencils. That's just what I use with all colored pencils. But to get some really great small detail erasing, the Tombow stick erasers are just it. Yeah. They're fantastic. So, so that's going to work with the stencil here, the yes. eraser shield. Yes, yeah. very much so, rather than a big kind of unwieldy sure. eraser. So um, so with those, uh, then we also have some of the Canson Mytense paper that we always use on the show for color pencil. Um, I think this is the sorted colors. Yes. Um, it's one of those things where if you go to pull the setup and you want to buy it and they end up running out of this because sometimes this paper is really popular this time of year. People are doing commissions and stuff on it. You can always take that off the cart if it's out of stock and add one of the other. There's an Earth Tones pad. There's another pad. So so you can kind of, if, if something is missing from a cart, there's ways to just take it off and then add in, you know, a replacement yeah. item. So and then a leaning bridge. If you don't mind taking that out so they you know what that is, because that packaging is not as easy to see. I mean, it should be obvious. Yeah, right? yeah, right. Yeah, it's a box that you put on your artwork so that you don't smear it. Uh, the leaning bridge is what we use on the show all the time. Um, it it fits over your paper so that it's not rubbing it. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So you're not rubbing. You your are artwork. like. I worked on the product demo video yes. for this commercial. Oh for yeah, this product, there so, you yeah. go. Okay. So yeah, one. you know how to do it. So nice, nice new one, really easy to see through, nice yeah. and clear, loose light. So, so that is uh, the, and I threw it down on the ground. That's deep. Leave it on the ground. JL one thirty one D. The price of it is one hundred twenty five dollars and sixty nine cents. The regular price on it is one fifty nine. Oh. And some change. So it's a good value. A very good value for professional colored pencils. All right, so the next one, JL131E. This is a beginner watercolor set. This is under $50. Okay, and starting with this 
Mesh yes, bag, very the mesh bag. Well, you know, you want to yeah. take supplies with you or even just to keep kids out of it or pets out of it or whatever. Yeah. Tucked away nice in, in, in there. Uh, so this it is a misnomer and we, we had this set last year and I kind of changed it up just slightly. Although it's a starter watercolor set, we have a set of Turner Professional watercolors in there oh. if you'd like to pull those out sure. and show those. It's a set of 18 five milliliter tubes. So it gives you 18 colors that are professional quality, not student quality, but it's under 50 bucks for nice. the entire set. So it gives you 18 colors to start with, which is usually not what everybody has to start out with. Oh, yeah. So, and we've used Turner on the show before, so we're all big fans. Uh, then there's a palette that you can use for travel or at home that opens up. It just pops open. It's got a thumb hole, so if you want to do plain air. You want to take it out? Yeah, please do. Sorry, I should have thought about taking it out earlier. I didn't. That's all right. There we go. So, yeah, plenty of space for all those colors and then lots of mixing areas. Mm -hmm. So, but a really good value. It's a very inexpensive price point, but it's super durable plastic, so it's not going to fall apart. Um, for left or right hand. You know what? How many people check? You get you get that. That's good because most of them are not. Most of them are down at one end, so Short, it's very yeah. unbalanced depending on if you're right or left-handed. So yeah, so that and I think these have been redesigned because the old ones actually weren't like that. No, oh, of that same skew. So, um, so there's that. Then a brush set, a Polar Flow brush set. We all love these. They're a great price point. This set of six gives you everything that you need. Lots of rounds, a fan, um, and I think a filbert on there. So a good variety of brushes rather than just one to start out with. It gives you a whole bunch to actually start with. Um, then a fluid watercolor paper easy block. So it's taped down, so it's not going to buckle when you're working. Yes. Um, but it's a nice size where it's easy to travel with, right? Yeah. Um, or even do a little bit of urban sketching or something if you want with your watercolors. So all that comes in that mesh bag. Forty-six fifty-five for all of it. Everything you need other than a cup of water, right? Right, yeah. Um, and uh, the regular price on that is $69.35. Hey. So, yeah. So, huge value. Yes. So, that was JL133E. Yep, one. 131. Oh, that's where we are. 131. Sorry, jumping forward to next year. We're not in January yet. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Yes, follow the sign, and not what Amy <laughs> says. Exactly. All right, so next up, JL131F. Thank you, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amanda's really just Amy's handler, not <laughs> just the, the Facebook Live uh, person. All right, I so. Tell, this has some good this is, feel yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay, so now, I, instead of ordering another set in to show new, this is actually my set, oh, okay. but it's the set that I use. So th it, this is this is actually your deluxe gift set, Ooh. right? So under three hundred dollars for a watercolor deluxe gift set. And let's show this first. And Kate, poor Katie's coughing, poor Katie. so she's walked off set. So you may have to angle this to tilt it. I'll be careful. Uh, uh. This is seventy half pans. So you're getting seventy. A little bit of tissue from blotting. You're getting 70 colors of the Lucas Aquarel 1862 watercolor pans. You're getting two brushes. This is a porcelain. Um, there you go. <coughs> You're making me cough, Dave. Mm -hmm. A porcelain tray for mixing, all in this beautiful wood box set that locks. Um, I, I just took one of the paper legends out. I still haven't gotten a chance to sit down and actually make the legends for it. But I think I've used the Lucas colors enough. I know for the most part what's what. But 70 watercolors. Wow. 70 watercolors. Yeah. Under $300. And that's just this set. And, and the reason this is such a good deal is I think that this set is um, a set that they've got like on a really good sale because I think they're redesign every year they come out with different ones and this was similar to their anniversary set and i think they're downsizing from such an extravagant set mm -hmm. so this is only 169.99 wow. yeah. i think for this set 
for 70 colors. Now, does it this come is, with the brushes or are these? Yes, no, it right? comes oh, with wow. the brushes. And the set of 40 is only like, I wanna say less than $10 cheaper. So this is a really, really great deal. That works out to two and a half dollars per pan. Wow. You, have you yeah. can't buy pans. You can't buy you can't. series one pans for that, no. half pans. So, and this is their professional quality set. So that's the starter. Then brushes, I put in the Mimic Kalinsky watercolor brush value set of nine with an easel case. Oh yeah. So you can actually stand that up while you're working. Yeah, it flips around like that. Um, nice big um, bright, nice wash brushes and then a whole selection of rounds. So you've got a, one good, you know, one for larger areas, yes. a nice size round for doing the majority of your painting and then some great little detail brushes. Mm, teeny tiny brush. Yeah. There. So performs just like Kalinsky. It's one of our favorite products on the show time and time again, it, but it's synthetic, so it's animal friendly. So that's an, an entire set of nine. You, you That and then you got two brushes that come with the set. Yeah. You're not going to need brushes for a good while. Nope. Um, so there's that. Then I paired it with the Fabriano Artistico watercolor block, a nine by 12, because that's kind of a nice decent size. Cold press, 140 pound in the natural white. I like natural white instead of bright white. Bright white can be a little glaring to me, especially if you paint outside. Mm. It's a lot of reflection coming back at the eyes, so I prefer natural white, so I kind of tend to encourage others to try that too. Yes. But it's 100% cotton watercolor paper, so it's a professional watercolor paper, which is funny because I know a lot of watercolor artists, well, who don't use cotton paper. Ah. And it's just like, why? But I think it's one of those things just like linen, unless you paint on it, you don't know what you're missing. Mm -hmm. So this is a set for somebody that's serious about it, so they need serious paper. So that's and why we've got in. I enjoy the blocks because it makes things a little bit easier than uh, just watercolor yeah. paper. You don't have to worry about taping things down or buckling after yes. the fact. It just makes it so easy. You do your painting, you let it dry, and then you can usually like run a palette knife or something underneath and kind of cut it off and frame your artwork at that point. And yeah, exactly. It just makes it a little bit easier. Just one less thing you have to worry about. Exactly. So this whole set would normally be 360, 137. 284.42 for all of it. Yes. So it's a great, a great gift idea for somebody that wants to really get into watercolors, yeah. or for you to get with gift cards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For that professional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that is the JL 131F. And it's, a, it's a well-loved set. And you know if it's one I use every day. It's your personal it's, set. It's the one that's on my desk in my office. Anytime I've got to get watercolor out, that desk gets opened up and we go from there. All right, so now we are on JL131G. This is the Jerry's Live Urban Sketching Travel Set. Now, I think Mike Not Jerry actually did his own version. It was funny because we compared notes today and we're like, you did what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he has a very similar pro uh, kind of like little set yep. that he has on that stocking stuffer episode. Um, if the girls put up a link again, just in case somebody missed that earlier. Yeah, it's on our YouTube channel. I think it was posted last Friday. It's the Mike yes. Not Jerry stocking stuffer guide. Yep. So, so he's got his own kind of version of the set. This is Amy's select version right. of the set. So it's just kind of funny, the little bit of slight difference uh, in the, what the two of us And the overlap like. kind of just says, yes, these are the products I know, that right? sketchers need. It yeah. is. So again, the bag because... Everyone's favorite. Yeah. Well, the you, bag. The bag. Yeah, don't right? lose stuff and it's yeah. durable. Your stuff doesn't get broken. So, well, and if you have six, eight pieces that you want to carry around, it's just nice to have everything yes. in one spot. So, yes. So, the star of this is the fan pan set of 42 with the water brush, which we have shown on the show multiple times. Why don't you open it? Because it's one of those things that, in case somebody's missed it, ah, yeah. Lots of color, and it's one of those things where I, the first time I saw those, I was like, you're going to use that up so fast, and that's all going to be gone. Guess what? No, I've not used any of them even half of the way with, yeah, Katie, can you hit the above shot so that, I'm like, fan these out. Vanna here can, uh, there we go. 42 colors. And with the brush included. Yes, with a water brush, so you don't mm -hmm. even have to take water if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. Yes, and everybody doesn't know what that is. That's to blot out yeah, the excess water. Area. My and sister got that at AOC this year, and she's obsessed with it. Because nice. it's awesome. Yeah. She's never used watercolor before. Oh, what? It accessible to her. Absolutely. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. We have a little mixing area down here as well in that last mm -hmm. fan. Yep, and mm -hmm. the box, 
I still have my plastic box. It's durable enough where A, Amy hasn't broken it yet, and B, I can still keep putting it back in there to protect it. So, so that's the start of this. The next, you know, your urban sketching, you might not want to break out all the watercolors. Get the little pencil set there. The Faber-Castell Aqua Pencils, right? They are uh, water-soluble pencils. It comes with a brush on its own. If you don't, I would really recommend you don't mix your watercolor brushes with the graphite brushes and then go back to watercolor when you're out and about. You need to really wash them good with soap instead first. So it comes with its own brush so you don't have to monkey with switching those back and forth. Don't cross the streams. Yes, it's, it's one of those things until you do it, you don't think about it and then you do it and you're like, oh. So then there's a tin of postcards, the Reflections postcards, because like you enjoyed, it's yeah. fun to make art postcards and send it. Imagine going and doing little scenes like out urban sketching and then you can mail them to people. Yeah. Especially if you're on vacation. If these were at AOC, I would have gotten some of these for yeah, sure. I, I yeah, I think that they were probably out. <laughs> uh, they were just so brand new, they didn't have them. Oh, did they yeah, not? They just oh, come out. Yeah. wow. Yeah, it's awesome. It's 24 postcards in a tin. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. None love, of the other companies the that make watercolor postcards come in a tin like that. Oh no, they're usually yeah. in a little so a little like a cheap yeah. sketchbook uh, paper cover. So That's mentioned after you do some art you put in there, it protects it for while right. you're traveling as well too. Yeah. So, yeah. But they're, they're I, when we first got them in, I did some artwork examples on it and I was really impressed yeah. by the quality of it for a watercolor postcard. It was it was really nice. It's premiere. <laughs> Ta-da. Mm -hmm. So that's in there. Then we've got um, a really cool shaped pad. Look at that little spiral pad. Oh, this guy. Now this might be a thing that once some of these sets are gone, they don't have it. So you may have to take that off and substitute something else. But look at the shape of it. Three by nine. Yeah. That's and not it's 12 you see sheets. Often. And it's cotton paper. Ah, there you go. So you got something fancy to do some of your urban sketching on. So I just loved the little shape and size and it fit in this really nicely. So yes. yeah. So then we've got a couple of the accurate technical pens that we love that are waterproof. So you do your drawing and with that if you want first and then you can watercolor right over it and it's good to go. It won't come up. And then so that you have a way to carry your water for any other needs in case you're not using that aqua brush, you've got an aqua tote. So and it can dump out and collapse and fit right back in there. It's not like having to take a big you know, big cups or a bucket or anything like that it makes it yeah. really easy to travel. And it's got some brush holders on the side too. So it's yeah. really your all in one station once you Brush holders, up. I mean, you can put your pens in it, you can yeah. your pencils, everything. Yeah. So, and I think it actually has a bigger pocket so you could even p slip your postcards or something in it. I think Perfect. one side has a pocket. So it all works together. I know, right? Planned. So regular price on all these items, 76, 72. Our price on it, 62, 82 for everything you need to get out and do urban sketching. And again, we don't know what Black Friday specials will be. Some of these right. items may, you know, be even more discounted. These sets as they're made up are whatever the price currently is on the website. So this is what the website prices currently are today. It may be where it's going to change even more, become more of a value. Sure, so yeah. something to think about. So that's JL131G. All right, onward, upward. Is this all H right here? It is. JL131H. Everybody always, this was probably one of the things besides drawing sets, uh, things that kids could use, like responsible kids that are very, very artistic. That <laughs> Quills they like all. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. It's a this lot one. of stuff for a very good price. All this is under fifty five dollars. Wow. So I I almost had it to under fifty will, but it's fifty dollars and fifty one cents. Huh. The regular price on it is seventy eight ninety two. This would be a way to if you just want to paint for relaxation and enjoyment, you want to do acrylic because you don't want to deal with oils or solvents or even water mixable oils. Uh, it's a way to get 30 colors. Can you open that up yes. to show? Uh, so this is, these paints are even great for crafts. They're great for um, kids. They're non-toxic. 30 different colors uh, in 20 milliliter tubes. So it's a good amount of paint to get you started. Okay. Don't have to learn to mix a whole lot because a lot of it's already in a whole bunch of colors mixed. Yeah. A lot of your secondaries and tertiary colors. A couple metallics in here. I know. Yeah. And they're actually really nice metallics. 
So you got 30 colors to start with with this. You've got a palette pad, even with a, a thumb hole if you with want to, hole, yes. to, to do that. And that's just um, for someone that likes to paint and then uh, is when you're done, you're done. This helps clean up uh, yes. easy. Just yes. throw the palette away. It's that easy. You know? Exactly. Tear it off and throw it away. Uh, there is a misting thing. If anybody's ever taken one of my acrylic classes, I'm always telling them to mist. You mist your colors every maybe 10 minutes or so just to keep them so that they don't dry out during your painting session. So it's got a misting bottle. It has uh, a, a brush basin with a lid. So you've got different wells where you've got a dirty water, a clean water thing, and some actually kind of textured areas where you can beat the color out of that brush. And little holes where you can stand your brushes up, make it a little easier. Yeah. Palette knives, set of five palette knives. Just very basic palette knives, but easy to mix if you want to mix colors. Yes. All different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. Are these ones you used in your workshops? Yep. Uh huh. I it recognize was. them. Yeah, everybody got one. Yes. Whether they wanted it or not. Yes. Um, then a set of Creative Inspirations brushes, a long handle brush so that you can actually set a, a, an easel. Short handle brushes, remember, or from, you can use short handle brushes for acrylic if you've got it flat. It's easier with a longer brush to actually work at an easel. Um, a small table easel, the Soho Urban Artist table easels. These were really popular at the workshops. A lot of people had these for the easels, didn't they, Katie? Yeah. Everybody, everywhere. Um, just a travel bag on a table. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not kind of unfolding on you as you're going, oh, wow, it's up. even wrapped. Well, there you go. That's sturdy. While you are unwrapping that, I will show the, again, I like it when you have everything. So four nine by 12 canvases. Oh, excuse me, five. The pack's in five now. So you've got actual stretched canvas to get somebody started out where they can do five artworks, everything that you need here to actually break it out and paint that day. Yeah. yeah so, and then when you're done, it you all need. folds and puts away so that you don't have to have, if you don't have a dedicated area, a dedicated studio room to paint in, you can take all this stuff and easily fold it up, store it away. Sure. Um, so five works of art right here with everything that you've got. Again, this is under $55, $50.51, JL131H. So it's a great way to start out. Good, basic, all-encompassing acrylic starter set. I'm gonna need to take two trips to get all this. Yeah, you are, because it's I couldn't believe you made one to start with. It's because you're so talented. Alright, so while he is doing this, we've got JL 131I. And that set is our deluxe starter acrylic set. So we're going from more of a student grade to where we're getting into true artist acrylics with this. This is under $95. Wow. And you said it's professional grade too. It's, it, this is, this is kind of like a good, this is, I guess, artist to getting into professional grade um, paints, but it's got everything again that you need. We've got that brush basin. So you've got your lighter. water. If you'll open that easel so they can see, it, this is a little bit kind of fancier easel where it's got the top and the bottom mount where you can lock either canvas or panels in. Um, there is the Creative Mark Try Me brush set of the Power Quill Ultimate Acrylic Brushes. So it's got a variety, five different brushes with different shapes and sizes to start out with. That's synthetic, perfect for acrylic. One of the peel off acrylic little palettes here, but it's true color, so it's easy to color mix. Yeah, look at that. So you got that, you can move this up and down, you can use canvases of different heights. Very easy to fold this up and put it away too. If you don't have the, the space to keep things out constantly, yeah. it gives you the ability to still have a real easel to paint with. Yeah. I've never used these and I figured it out in about three seconds live, yes. so yeah, it's that easy. Yes, so and then let's look at this set because this is a great. So it, it's it's a nice hardwood box. It's got like a little briefcase style handle. Comes with an actual canvas. Oh, nice. 
And if you want to take this on the go and not leave the easel at home, it actually does have a clip where in see these little prongs at the yep. bottom where you can hold that in to either put panels back here or to put a canvas back here. It's got a, a hardwood palette too. Hardwood palettes though, not good for acrylic. That's why I put this one in here. Perfect for oils. Just it soaks into your wood texture and then yes. it's in there for forever. So um, a nice canvas panel. Then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tubes of paint. And these look like what, 60 milliliter tubes, 75 milliliter tubes. My goodness. So you got large tubes. You've got an acrylic medium. You actually have um, you have some brushes already in here. You have a metal palette knife in here. So you have all those items that you need to go ahead and get started and you know, a canvas panel and a, a piece of canvas, stretched canvas, already ready to go so that you can get started with acrylic painting. Perfect. So again, under $95, $94.41. The regular price on this is $131.35. Yes. So it's a very good discount and it gives you everything you need to get going. For a true professional set. There you go. In a travel box. Yes, the box is just fun, you know. Like yes. Handle. All right, so JL one thirty one K is up next. Water mixable oils, very very popular. So we've got a water mixable oil set, and this is one that we've used. We did a water mixable oils episode, so go back in the at the beginning of all these episodes. There's always those links to the shows where you can watch them either by the topic or you can watch them. It, it's got the list in the order of which they aired. It's chronologically. So uh, Water Mixable Oils, we've done several of those episodes, I think this year actually. So, so this is the set, if you wanna open that up, the set that we've used that's got an easel box. So an easel is built into the box itself. We actually painted on that. We did a little landscape. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna show these. We've got a silicoil. You can use it with traditional oils as well and put mineral spirits or some sort of solvent in there. But for this, you can put water in there, wipe out your extra excess paint, right? Always do that before you put it in your solvent cup or your water cup. Have water in there. It's a coiled kind of wire, but it's rounded, so it's not going to damage your brushes. By cleaning it in there, the debris will fall down from the paint under the coil, so the top part is cleaner. You can use that to really work the kind of the paint particles out. Modified linseed oil for your water mixable stuff. We've got a little bit of the lavender brush cleaner, tiny little sample. So if you have some kind of stubborn particles or pigments, you can get it out with a non-toxic brush cleaner from the Chelsea Classical Studios. A little tiny brush cleaner. Mm -hmm. Then brush soap. Oh. And, and I can't stress this enough with just traditional oils, but water mixable oils even more so. Always wash your brushes at the end of your um, your painting session just because it's modified to, to be able to thin with water um, and clean up with soap and water does not mean that you don't need to have good brush hygiene and actually clean those brushes well. So that soap is perfect to use. You can wash your hands with it even I do that all the time. It's a nice non-toxic soap and those cakes last for forever. Yes. So it's got a little half size cake, the solvent cup for your uh, linseed oil. Now this, it's something we put together on the show before, but that's the back for your, it goes on the other side for your easel box. Three panels hey. in here are ready to go. A nice little wood, um, your little wood palette. It's got an entire set of 10 20 milliliter water mixable oils from Lucas. They're Berlin water mixables. It has some actual three different hog bristle brushes. So you've got some brushes in the box itself. A really nice full size palette knife. That's fantastic. Then I put another brush set with it because three brushes, although you can use that to get started will make you still sad because you want some stuff that you can use. And 
I've talked to people before, you're not using solvents, so you can use full synthetic brushes without your brushes getting damaged by solvent when you clean up. Um, that's always kind of been the prod problem with synthetic brushes and solvents. Mm -hmm. These are like water mixable oils come out of it so easily. These are, these are the Pro Whites. This set is, let's see, do, do, do. the Creative Mark Pro White Studio brushes with a case set of 12. So it gives you 15 brushes between the, oh, the yeah. box and this. To get going, you don't need any other sizes and all that to go. Panel's already in there. Everything you've got here, you can start painting immediately. Yeah. So that is uh, the Wa Lucas Berlin Water Mixable Oil Set. Under $120 for all of this. $113.74. The regular price on it, $144.84. Yeah. Good, good deal. It's a, it's a great deal. So that is JL131K. And remember again, if you have relatives that'll listen to you, you can always talk them into the gift card. But if you don't and they want to give you stuff to open, these sets are great ideas for you to actually work with and actually give them one of these keywords to, um, so they can pull up the set and buy you a gift that you'd like, or even, you know, some of these things are great for kids as well. So the, you said this brushes the oil, hold oil paint well? Well, the water mixable oils, they do. Mm -hmm. um, other oils would probably work, but then you're having to clean them with solvents, and those aren't real great on any synthetic brush. They right. tend to eat them eat them away over time. Um, so, so that's why I put them with that set, because they pair perfectly with water mixable oils. And it's kind of a nice um, in-between texture. It's not super stiff like hog bristle, but it's not super fine like sable would, so it still holds the, the heavier body of the paint, but you can soften the brush strokes because it's kind of that nice mid-range um, brush hair. JL131L. Okay, so this is our Artist Complete Oil Painting Studio set. And I'm gonna let you open the box. I love sure. how the packaging looked on this, so I didn't wanna take it off, because look at that. It just looks so fancy. It does. Right, yeah. it, 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 I was like, it's like Christmas burgundy. So, yeah. yes, so while you're opening that, so we've got the Creative Mark Try Me brush set. This is the Pro Stroke Premium White Bristle brush. There are four, seven brushes in here. So you've got a couple nice, decent sized ones down to some smaller detail brushes. Then, I really like it to encourage people to try different types of brushes. So we've got the Hamburg Premier set. It's the Explorer set of six. It gives you some smaller brushes. It's kind of fashioned after that mongoose. It's natural hair and some synthetic that work to give you kind of that mid-tone texture um, for painting and some really nice small detail brushes. So that's a fantastic um, set to have with it. Now, I know what the Trimi brush said, not in, in this particular set you put together, but they have a wide range yes. of, of for brushes. Like 14, and 25 for or something. Yeah, yeah of, of all sorts of different curated sets. Yeah. So yeah, so that's... a a really good deal. Turpenoid light. You can travel with this because it's a higher flash oh, point. Just nice. make sure that you have the information from Weber about it. Yeah, we and did hear about some people at AOC that had their, their mediums and, and turpenoids and things confiscated or they couldn't travel with them. Yes. So knowing that this is travel safe is a big plus. It's travel safe, but remember 16 fluid ounces is too large for you. Yes. You'd have to go with the small ones, but you can with this. Yeah. So, uh, but I just like it because, you know, if not knowing where you might set up painting, it can be super hot. This is a really high flash point. So you can use it in areas where you maybe couldn't with other mineral spirits or definitely turpentine mm -hmm. uh, because the flash point's so much lower. So, so that. We have done a video on traveling with your art supplies that did just talk about uh, what is safe and not for traveling, about flash points on different mediums. So I believe that's on our YouTube channel as well. It was an artist problem traveling with art supplies. So check that out. Yeah, that's awesome. Petite brush washer. So you've got that to put your turpenoid in. Has that little great grate in the bottom that keeps the sediment so it goes down. It's not up there in the clean area. Perfect for cleaning your brush. So we included one of those and a travel size because this is a nice little setup where you can take this traveling. 
Um, this is Lucas's 1862 Artist Oil Wood Box Set. 37 milliliter full tubes. It's got a stretched canvas in it. Again, it's one of these things where this can lock down so you can carry this with you and actually Protect use it, it as a painting box. Mm -hmm. It's got a, uh, looks like a paper texture panel, a nice full size wood palette that fits in the box. All of these tubes of paint, 12 tubes, uh, all sorts of different colors of their 1862. That's their professional line. It's got a very small brush cleaner in here. Um, a linseed oil already in there. But look at these cute little palette cups. Yeah, little mini cups. Little, little <laughs> mini tiny palette cups. Um, multiple full size palette knives, a great big white. So you've got 12 colors and then the big two. The giant white. So that's perfect. And they've got their own hog bristle brushes as well that are their good either professional quality hog bristle brushes so it gives you all sorts of brushes you don't need other brushes to get started with this mm -hmm. you've got everything that you need you've got your, your solvent cup and extra uh, this would not be quite enough yet even for this so this will start you out with painting this set under 255 dollars 253.95 wow. for you know, 12 colors and then a giant white, mm -hmm. all the mediums, painting surfaces, extra brushes, everything to go. The regular price on this is $316.95. So it gives you your setup. Yeah, absolutely. You know, other than like a full size easel to go, I mean, this, this you can go anywhere, do any sort of oil painting right there with that. So that is JL131L. All right, so shifting gears. We talk about all sorts of mediums all the time, and I'm going to take these off because it's starting to get full. Um, and we've touched on pastels and oil pastels this year, and a lot of people kind of have wanted to know where to get started or even where to get, um, you know, younger people started, or even, like, these would be perfect sets for... Uh, retired people or even like nursing homes where you, you're wanting to bring supplies in to get people involved in art. These are very basic sets. JL131M is a beginner pastel set that's under $50 for soft pastels. $49.58. The regular price is $67.58. This is the Start Art Soft Pastel Kit. We've got the Mungio uh, a set of 30 pastels if you want to open those up so you can see it's a good range of colors. Um, and we've featured the Mungio um, pastels a bunch on here. So it's these are full size sticks. Yeah. It's just a set of 30 that's designed especially for this kit. So it's a great value to start out with. Um, there is a pack of blending torches. <laughs> <laughs> blending tortillions so it's got a dozen um it's got an enhanced kneaded eraser you can use kneaded eraser to pull up pastel really easy you need one of these <laughs> oh he's waited the entire episode for this joke i have a feeling as well um there is workable fixative the crown workable fixative there is another video from um dan nelson mm -hmm. that is beginning in soft pastels and I think he does a couple different projects in this as well so you're not just getting the set and trying to wing it it's you've got actual instruction step by step and for we have a handful of videos on the start DVD yes. collection which stands for stop thinking art is really tough <laughs> yeah it does yeah, I'm that's fantastic that's true it's just funny I did not know yeah. that was what the acronym was all right then well that makes more sense but it's a mouthful so I see yes. why they went with start just start um, and then there is a, a 9 by 12 full-size pad of 24 sheets of the My Teens pastel paper, and it's assorted colors, so you've got all sorts of great um, colors to start with where you've got a nice toned ground to work with pastels on. So, um, so again, that the regular price on that $67.58, it's $49.58. Wow. So yeah. it's a great way to get started in a medium that then you can add on, because with pastels, you just keep kind of adding colors. You've got the basics to start with. So it's a good starter set to learn with. Yes. 
All right, so that is our soft pastels. So let's jump to the oil pastels, which strangely is the O one. I did not plan that, but it works out. So JL131O, not zero, O. o. I tried to make it like oh my. I would make it zero. Yeah, that's okay. I didn't think about that when I put that on there. So uh, this is the beginning oil pastel set. Now, this is where you can start out with this is under $25 Wow! for all of this. Yes. Okay. So that is a set of 48 colors. So you've got 48 oil pastels, which I think the open stock on them is more than this set is to even start with. Right. Yeah. So you've got that, you've got, um, a, another DVD with Dan Nelson, the beginner's guide to oil pastels. You've got some blending stomps, a set of six. And then there's 20 sheets of Strathmore Bristol paper, which is what he uses in the instructions. So you're using actually what he's using in it. So it makes it easier for you to kind of learn. You're, you've got the same variables going yeah. on that you're learning with. So this set is 2278. So even if you've regular, never done pastels, no. you just want to try it. Yes. That's very affordable. Regular $40.78. Yeah. Wow. So, and it's, it's all non-toxic. It's AP certified. This is perfect for kids to get into something, you know, and really try. There's something they can watch and learn. And it's a super, I mean, that's a great cheap price for, yeah. for getting a whole lot of bang for your buck with our Absolutely. supplies. Absolutely, yes. So JL131O is the beginner oil pastel kit set. And again, you can just keep adding colors on. Yes. All right. So JL131N, this is where we're going to come up front. Will's going to be Vanna jumping from the camera to the actual product itself. This is a mixed media easel we've used in multiple shows. It's been in the past featured in like really big sets with like all encompassing soft pastels or whatever. Um, this is an easel that is normally $172.39. I know my dress is catching on everything. The price on it is $107.24 right now. So the great thing about this easel, this can come up, you can do larger canvases. This is what the fantastic thing is about it. I'm gonna see if I can do this with the arm brace. Even if you don't do watercolor, I mean, you can lay this flat to do watercolor. You can do varnishing with oils and acrylic paintings where it's sitting on somewhere safe, being held so it's not going to get damaged. It's up away from the pets, right? You can varnish with it. You can uh, do, you know, tilt it at an angle, do, um, you know, washes and gradients and watercolors where you need that little bit of angle for the gravity to kind of help pull that color down to make it even. You can tilt it forward at an angle for soft pastels so that that pastel dust falls down beyond your work rather than it being tilted back where it's going to just kind of dust and fall down the work and discolor it. So this is a great easel for multiple media. If you do oil painting, if you do acrylics, if you do pastels, if you do oil pastels, if you do watercolor, this will fit virtually anything. I mean, mixed media, Anything you want. We have one that's been in the studio I don't know how long, and ours has a lot of paint on it because I'm messy. Uh -huh. But that thing is in good, as I had to look at the two and look for where the paint was on the tray under it to be like, oh, that's not the one we need to show. We need to get the other one from the other side because they, I mean, they're so durable. They, they hold their shape and their value so well. So, um, they really don't take up that much space either if you're limited on space in your studio. Right. They don't. And they fold flat. Mm -hmm. This folds completely flat. It could slide under a bed or something like that. And it's got a storage tray under it. So especially if you do pastels and you don't have a cart or something to pull up to the side or even, you know, a card table to lay out your pastels, you can put your pastel boxes on there. And although it'd be an, a little annoying, you can still access them easily enough you know, and have them there at the ready, even if you don't have other space to lay them out. When you fold this thing flat, it's only about two or three inches deep. Yeah. And its overall footprint now is a two foot square, less than. Right. So, and that's a huge thing too. 
is the floor space that something would take up. That's very small for an easel. So now, I mean, it doesn't have wheels and stuff like that, but you're talking, those are usually, you know, $150, $200 and up. Then some, and a lot of times those don't tilt forward safely enough. You have to start talking about a lot larger uh, floor profile foot, right? To be able to counterbalance that enough where it's not going to throw it off with some of the lower end ones with the with the wheels on the bottom. So this is just, this is a fantastic, very durable easel. And this can be adjusted where you can make the mast come up and this can come up higher so you can stand, but it's nice because you can lower it and sit, which for pastels sometimes is a lot more optimal. Um, it's just more comfortable to do that way. So this is one of my favorite easels that we sell. So, and, and I think just because it applies to so many different artists, it's a great, you know, especially if you like to do everything like I do, this, it's a great value. And it's one of those things that maybe you wouldn't buy for yourself, but that somebody else would be happy to spring for a gift for you. So this is one of those, you know, what do you call it? Uh, when on, uh, on the show where she, Parks and Rec, where she treat yourself. Treat yourself. Mm. This is the treat yourself. Exactly. So, all right. So that is JL 131 N the uh, Da Vinci Multimedia Easel. All right, Will's gonna be bringing in another item and then jump back to the camera. Will's, uh, the next one is the Space Rover 2 paper cart and board, JL131J. Now this to me is one of the ultimate gifts and I, I'm going to say this because I have one and it was one of those things where I was like, yeah, but will I use it that much? And then it's like, this thing goes everywhere around my studio. It has, I don't even know how many pounds of printmaking paper and watercolor paper and watercolor blocks and rice paper. And on the bottom, I have all of my soft pastels and oil pastels boxes. Um, so, I mean, it will carry and hold everything and this one has been here for forever so you know it's had stuff all over it and some chemicals on it and it's oxidized but it's a powder coated stainless steel so it's very durable it will hold lots of weight I mean one of mine probably has I don't even know how many I I'm afraid to hazard a guess I can't believe that, that it's not Boeing because paper is stacked up to like here but it'll take full size sheets of watercolor paper. So it, with some room, and then it's got these great cutouts. So it's easy to, when you have a lot of paper like me, lift up areas and be able to get down into, because inevitably it's never the one on top that you want. Of course. So, um, so this, this product, it's got locking wheels. Um, they're huge, like industrial grade casters. So they roll super smooth around everywhere. Um, I actually have it, although all that stuff is on it, I have a huge lamp that's not even taller than me on it and pictures and I usually use it as a work surface too. If I'm doing watercolor, I'll take all the pictures off and use this to actually stand and do watercolor at. So it's, it's the super perfect height for a workspace as well. Um, the regular price on this is $480.99 and it's not on sale right now, but I noticed something interesting. This is me being the, the cheapy Charlie that I am. You can use coupons. Coupons are applicable to this. So if there's a 15% off coupon on the website at this price, you can apply the coupon. If there's a 25% off coupon and this is at that price, it's coupon eligible. So that suddenly can take a huge stinking chunk of change off this very valuable item that's not only for storage but it's a great work surface as well and it's so portable so um and it even works as a dancing platform for cockatoos i will say that's happened in my studio what, what? thankfully she didn't realize there was paper under there or we would have all been in trouble but um so space river 2 paper cart and board cart it is like the dream studio kind of appliance, if you will, that can store a whole lot of things. Um, I even know somebody that has used theirs to store um, panels, wood panels on. So it'll store a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Very nice product. So 
that is one of those gifts that you would like to give of yourself or talk to somebody else that they get in for you. Thank you, Will. And Will was kind enough to help me bring it over from the other building, too. So, Will has been the... You were Vanna before the episode started. <laughs> All right, so last item. JL131P, like Paul. JL131. This is the Matisse French Painters Tabaret. The normal price on these is $375.99. This is $254.09. So, tabaret, why is that an important thing? Because it's nice to have something you can move around your easel whenever and wherever you want. Sometimes you want it on the right side of your easel, sometimes on the left side. Card tables fall over really easily. Don't ask me how I know that. Locking casters. The beauty of this is, if you've got pets in the studio like I do, extra work surface or for a, an additional palette, but this comes with a plexi palette. And I don't know if I can get this with just me. Okay, so I don't, can you get that out of there, Will? This is one that's been in the studio, so it's no, been around I don't a have ton. Fingernails. Yeah, don't well, it. okay, so they're just gonna have to believe us in that there is a, plexi a yeah, so. there's a plexiglass palette that's got, it's got a covering on it. Um, to protect it. So you can put um, any color under it, a gray gray value paper. <laughs> That's okay. They, they, there's, yeah. Will, you're an honest guy. They'll believe you. Um, so you can put all your oils on here, cover them up when they're not in use so the cat can't get in it and walk across that and then across every other surface in your studio, out down the hall, onto the living room couch. Don't ask me how I know that that will happen because it's happened. It didn't seem to shorten the cat's lifespan either. So over 17 years, he did a whole lot of that kind of stuff. So then you've got storage drawers. So you've got split drawers there, full size drawer, full size drawers. So you can put a lot of tubes of paint, a lot of, um, you know, tube ringers, all of your solvent little solvent jars I mean you can fit all sorts of stuff in here and then you've got anywhere from three or less shelves that you can adjust the height on with pins so you can put maybe some smaller sketchbooks under there uh, you can put an additional you know you could have two different uh, palettes out and have one that slides in there if you don't have curious animals or children but this is a fantastic you know, besides the fact that it's that it's wheeled, it's got that where you can hide that palette away with one hand. I can roll it around. So, and and this one's been here for what? Forever. Probably five, six, seven, eight years. Yeah, we keep one on our main set all the time. Yeah, we use this all the time and put products on it off to the side when we film. So, I mean, this thing is in amazing shape for as much as we knock it around. So, it's a testament to the durability of the product. Life is a tabaret. <laughs> oh. oh, Will. Did you stay up all night thinking of these, Will? Okay. <laughs> so, this is JL131P, the Matisse French Painter's Tabaret. Um, again, two fifty four oh nine is the price on it right now. All right, so again, these are just some curated um, curated thoughts that we've come up with. Just trying to kind of hit some different price points for you guys, some different um, target, I guess, uh, gift ease, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, to make it so that there is a set for everybody that everybody can appreciate here. And again, when in doubt, yeah, when in doubt, you can always do a gift card or if some of these things are out of your budget, you know, or, you know, the ones that are in your budget are items that you're not interested in. Mm -hmm. Mike's video shows some great stocking stuffers yes. that, um, that would be really kind of nice and in a lower price point that'll mm -hmm. fit in the stocking really well. Yeah. Um, just for a little, a little pop of art supplies. Yeah. And you can get the physical gift card or you can do an e-gift card as well online and just have right. an email to yourself. So if you just want to go all digital, you can go that way as right. well. Right. Or if you're a procrastinator and wait. Yes. Until, you know, it's it's starting to get where you're not going to get something shipped. You can get 
an e-gift card and actually have it emailed to the person and it will get there in time. Yes. Amanda, do you know what that time frame is for that where they can get an e-gift card at the right up until... Oh, I think they're almost immediate. So they so can, they can even Christmas, Christmas Day morning, and be yeah, like, oh, crap. Will, okay. Yeah. If I remember correctly, they're emailed within 30 minutes. Okay. So all those procrastinators out there. That's not a reason to procrastinate. It's just no. if you did. And you know what? If you're going to procrastinate, up the dollar amount a little yeah, bit right? yeah. for, for the person. Just, you know, show them show me you love them. You can always print it off and put it in a nice envelope. Or, yeah. You know. Make it at $51.04 for one of those sets, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. So take care, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.